We'll move on to our next story now. Uh, Motiat A was spotted in Dubai sporting her new registered home port, which is written on the stern. The yacht was, until the owner was sanctioned, registered in the Isle of Man, but afterwards spent a long period, it seems, either without a flag or concealing the flag state as no name or flag was seen for over a year. The yacht uh, recently has been seen with the flag of Sierra Leone and now the name Freetown on the stern confirms that. She's clearly having a lot of work carried out on the front end of the yacht. As you can see, there's a lot of scaffolding in that area. Kind of hard to tell what's happening from this angle. However, people with knowledge of the yacht say that they're possibly replacing cracked windows which are curved and get cracked when the yacht flexes. Very um, interesting design of the forward section there. And you can see two layers of scaffolding suggesting that they need access to both sets of windows there on the bridge and on the uh, master cabin above. Also, there are a number of generators that can be seen sitting on the quayside. So at the very least, the yacht is on shore power, but it's possibly a sign that they're having work carried out on the generators on board, hence needing to have those uh, onshore generators. Um, it could simply be wanting to not put hours on the onboard generators whilst they're sat alongside there. Now, these photographs were taken about a week ago and our contributor wishes to remain anonymous. Thanks very much for watching this video. You've been watching a Super Yacht News clip. If you'd like to see the full unedited Super Yacht News video, you can click on the link over here. You can also find our channel links below here. And if you'd like to see more shorter videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel.